Okay, if you have a dish network and the hopper, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to set your dish up. Say you move to a new location or you bumped your dish, your satellite dish. I'm going to show you how to get this satellite dish repositioned so you start getting your channels again. So first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a level like this here. And uh, you're going to want to make sure your pole's straight and level. Just check it on two sides like here and then check it over here. If everything's level, you're good to go. If not, straighten your pole up. Okay, and then this is for my location. These are the satellites that I have to try to pick up. So if your satellite dish, say you move to a new location, find out what satellites you use, and then you'll have to find out the, the numbers for each satellite. So 110W and 119W. So you can go to dishpointer.eu and you put your address in there. You can change your location here, change your satellite, and we'll change the satellite to see how you can change it to 110W. There's east and west, so there's going to be like a 110 east and a 110 west. So we'll go to 110 west right there and then it you see how it changed the direction you point your antenna. But you'll have your location in there and it'll tell you the numbers. So from wherever that is in London, England, this is how you, these are numbers. Uh, that you'll point that's on your dish. I'll show you that in a minute. But so that's the satellite. The azimuth is a compass reading. So you got 360 degrees on your compass. And uh, that's when it has that number. You can get a compass for your Android or uh, iPhone. And you can do that. And I'll show you a second how that looks. Let's see here. Here's a compass app, and you can kind of see as you turn it, it changes the number. So you're going to want to point to that number at your azimuth. Okay, and then here's the actual compass. Something to do with the magnetic pole of the Earth, and so they have two different ones: azimuth and compass, actual compass reading. Okay, your elevation, this particular satellite wouldn't work in London, England. That's why I came up with a red line there. Works in my location now. So that's the uh, number you would set elevation to and skew. And it's got a arrow right next to skew to tell you which direction to turn the satellite dish. So that's that. I'll just show you that in a second here. The elevation and skew are you'll need a, a ratchet wrench like this here or a box wrench or something to change the adjustment if you move to, move to a new location. So here's <coughs> your elevation screws. We can see this. It's not. It's so bright out here. You uh, unlock that one. Unlock this one, and you can see the numbers right here. And mine is set to what about 30? Each line is two numbers, I believe. So 35 is right there. The well, no, but this is one number. So 35 is that middle line right there. It's set to about 37 for elevation. But you can loosen those and you can, you can change the pitch. 
and your skew is up here. So there's negative and positive numbers. So if you have a negative number, like see mine are positive numbers. So the 110, the skew is 31 and 38 for, for 119 satellite. So because there's two LMBs on there, it's going to pick up two different satellites. So you need to kind of split the difference and you can go to Dish Network's uh, website and you can download a, uh, a it's like a uh, grid and it'll, you put in you look at your look up your zip code and then it'll make a suggestion what your settings are based on these two satellites so 110 is 31 degree skew 119 is 38 degree skew and they recommend 125 degrees which you have to do a little math there uh, that's actually 35 degrees so because uh, 90 is the middle on here if you look see there's 90 right where my finger is is 90 so then these let's see here's your pointer so these numbers up here above 90 are positive numbers. These numbers below 90 are negative numbers. So you go 90 plus 31 or 38. That's how they get to 125. If you can get that. Okay. So it's actually 35. But uh, the number they recommend 125. So you come up here. Go to about 125, which I'm at 126. But you'll have to adjust it a little bit for your area. You'll have to fine tune it. But these numbers will get you in the ballpark and get you close. And then I'm going to show you once you got your pole leveled, you got your elevation set right here for these numbers, and then your skew set and your azimuth. Azimuth, what you're going to do is you're going to hold your phone right here and with that compass app you're going to turn it until you get the azimuth number you're looking for which just kind of point towards that middle bracket there and it'll get you in line. Keep turning it until you get that number you're looking for. And the azimuth number for mine was 228. That's sort of in between the one 220 for that one and 230 for this one. So you kind of have to split the difference because you have two different satellites you're lining up. And, and then you'll still have to do a little fine adjusting. Okay, here's another thing that's going to help you point your dish. This is a chart from Dish Network. It gives you your azimuth elevation and skew angles for pointing these dishes for the 110 and 119 west longitude. This one is for this table is and it says find your zip code. So <clears throat> let's say your zip code is in this range up here. The uh, 0230 zero through zero 02 399 and then so the first number here is your azimuth say so like at the top here 248 that's your azimuth that's the direction the uh, compass direction that you turn your dish to and then your elevation let's just go with that top one there it's 25 <clears throat> so that that's your angle of tilt back and forth like I showed earlier and then skew is your what the way you skew the uh, dish like this so if you go to dish you can download this chart just look up your zip code in there and it'll have the numbers for trying to get to it 
these numbers are like a compromise between those two satellites. So neither one of the none of these numbers point to exactly each doesn't point exactly to 119 or 110. It's kind of a split the difference and gets you close for both of them to come in because you have two LMBs on there which it pulls in two satellites. And I'll show you how to do it on your TV. If you have the uh, hopper like I do what you can do see I got a picture on mine now I just brought my TV and my box outside so what you want to do is hit the home button here I'm hoping you can see what with all the reflection out here it's really hard to see anything let me see if I can turn this TV Bit, so you can see better. Come over here. Okay, so right now, home is lit up there. You can want to go up. See how it turned red? Okay. Then go left to get the menu lit up. Okay. And then in menu, you're going to want to go to settings. So go down, go to the right, and go to select settings then you're going to want to scroll down once you get to your settings and go over here to diagnostics okay i got diagnostics okay then see it's highlighted receiver one there's uh two receivers built into these two uh tuners Okay, so you want to scroll down to dish. So there's dish is highlighted now, and it's showing <clears throat> the tuner strength here, which I I must have bumped it when I was showing you the settings there, because earlier it was up here about 75, 70, 75. So if you bump it just a slight amount, I haven't tightened the bolts on mine yet, it will throw it off. So I'm getting only 20 signal strength now, but it is locked on the satellite 110. So, and this is how you fine tune it. You turn this on. I got my volume muted right now, but it'll make a noise. Let's see here. So turn the volume up. It just creates a bulb on the trunk of the tree. So we're gonna to try to get a sliver okay, of it. That's Hopeful the, that if we get into we're getting it, that channel. Anyway, so once you're set up here, you can watch your signal strength, and it also makes some tones. It'll be a low hum tone, like a mmm, and then it'll go higher pitch and higher pitch as your signal strength goes up. So you can just take your antenna and just kind of just back and forth, up and down, change the skew. I'll just go a slight amount, go like one number at a time and do one thing at a time and watch your signal strength meter here and eventually you'll, you'll get it. And it's selected on here right now, it's 110. So you can also, you're on dish right now, so then Scoot over, you got tuner number one. And if you click the center button, you can go to tuner number two. It'll show you signal strength. Should be the same. Okay, we'll go back to one. Then you can also scroll down to satellite 110. That's telling me my signal strength on 110. So if you get locked in on one of your satellites, say you got, you're getting 110 and 119 like I am here. Uh, say 110 has a really strong signal and then you can go to 119 and say it's weaker so now this is the opposite my 119 is really strong up near 70 and my 110 satellite could use a little work so I could go back to 110 here and I could move it a little closer to 110 based on that paper 
you know, you can see the difference between 110, these numbers. So I must be closer, aimed closer to 119 because I'm getting a much stronger signal on 119, but I could do a little movement towards 110 and maybe both of them will come in, you know, at 50 or 60. But that's how you do it, guys. You just uh, do that, and then when you're done, you got your signal strength up, and you check both your satellites. What you want to do is you're going to go <coughs> and scroll with your remote. You're going to go to the right, where it says test installation. And then you're going to do is hit test installation. It'll test the signal strength. It'll tune it in, and you should have a channel you could watch. <coughs> And then it's probably going to ask you to save those settings. That's it. So, good luck with it, guys. It's a little frustrating because the uh, satellite dishes are, they get kind of sensitive. You know, if you just make a slight move with your satellite dish, it uh, may increase or decrease your signal just a, a huge amount. All right, guys. That's it. Good luck with it.